I don't think they can help. Oh, who can help police? Don't you want to help, Wooly? Yeah, that's why I'm calling the police on you. Why are you... <laughs> Surely this isn't going to give a any of us nightmares, right? This is just a kid's television program. Welcome to Amanda the Adventurer. Not Dora the Explorer, all right? This is Amanda the Adventurer. Don't get them confused. This game released a lot of demos, but I wanted to wait until the game was fully done. Today's that day. Let's dive in. Dear Riley, if you're reading this, it means you won't see me again unless it's in the next life. Damn! Wow. Okay. I wish I could have told you everything. I don't know how much time I have, and there is still so much I have to do before I'm gone. This letter serves two purposes. To say goodbye and to bequeath to you my house in Kinsdale. This next part may be a mistake, and goodness forgive me if it is, but when you settle in, there's something in the attic I need to pass on to you. Look for a tape. But know that once you watch it, there's no turning back. Stay safe, my dear. With you always, Aunt Kate. All right, Kate. Um, first of all, you could have just threw the tape in the trash. Like. Something I need to pass on to you. So this is like some kind of curse or something. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's see what's popping. This game, you I don't see. <laughs> okay, oh down, oh down. <laughs> Alright, so we plan as Riley. Let's look for this tape. Not in there. What's this? Oh, there's about to be some hidden Easter egg puzzle junk. Yep. What is this? Yep, you're gonna have to set the time to activate something. Listen! I already know what time it is. You gotta hit certain keys and you know, a door's gonna open in the back. I'm a veteran out here, y'all. The dog gonna come to life and you know, we seen this. Oh, here's the tape. All right, so actually, before we watch this tape, it's just like that scary movie um, VHS. Before we watch the tape, we need to pay attention to the surroundings because after this tape is over, something's gonna be different. What is this? Oh, my bad. So this is the letter. Okay. All right. Let's put the tape in. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Hey. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. Nobody asked, Wooly. What's your favorite kind of pie? Mmm, that sounds delicious. <laughs> Why did they let me do Today, that? Today, we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? <laughs> what do we need to cut apples? Yeah, we need a knife. Good job. Uh, we can use a sharp knife. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. Yeah, we need an adult. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look, Not all the time. I'm a pirate. Yo! <laughs> Amanda, relax. That doesn't seem safe. Okay, Willie. Let's cut the apple. That was hard. We have almost everything we need to make our pie. We just need some sugar. Hmm. Do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? Um. I don't like this. I do not feel safe right now. Let's see if we get it wrong. Refrigerator. Nope. Try again. I'm gonna click it again. Don't you want to help me? Nope. What you gonna do? So, where's the sugar? They took out the... <laughs> they took out the refrigerator. Great. Let's make a pie. Hmm. Can you smell the apples and cinnamon? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's time to bake a pie. First, Preheat the oven to 425. I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. We should always ask a parent to help. Wooly about to get I'm killed, not bro. I'm sure where they are right now. <laughs> We're on our own, Wooly. She, ki she killed him. First, 
preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Okay. Then put the apples into the pie tin. Okay. Now put it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. That seems like a long time. Our pie is ready. I can't wait to eat it. Willie, let's have some pie. What? Oh, that was the first tape. Was that there before? Didn't I tell you? This wasn't here. This was over here. So we did that tape. Can I unplug this TV? Actually, why don't I just leave? They want me to do, they want me to bake that apple pie. What? I heard something. What's this? Can I open this? Oh yeah, yeah. This is uh, yet another thing. What the freak, what is that? It's freaking unknown Pokemon, like, all right. Let's get the apple, put it in there, and just, I guess, put this in there. First of all, ew. Second of all, I didn't even get to, she said 425 for uh, 40 minutes. I thought I was gonna be able to put it in first, but okay, there you go. Oh, I made a new tape. Okay, what's that say? In your neighborhood. Don't like the sound of that either. Wait, why is there another apple here? What? What is this? Oh, it's a peach. Everything's fine, guys. Let's let's just watch the next tape. I'm okay. You're okay. We're all okay. Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. Hey, Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What do you like best about your neighborhood? What the freak is that on the ground? That's great! <laughs> I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Uh -huh. Do you know where the store is? Can we talk about this? Who died? Actually, there are more than just this one. But what's up with the capital C, B, and F? That's a code to something. Good job! Let's go to the store. Let's pick out a card. That wasn't My even... My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? Uh... What is this? Like a birthday? Like a thumbs up? Well, this is like a sad card. Do you think that's what they need? Look, when you pick the wrong answer, she kind of like, that facade kind of falls apart. She's like, which card do you think my friends want? You do the wrong one, and then she's like. I mean, <laughs> we're having a great time here. Yeah, yeah, what you gonna do? What do you say when someone helps you? Look at her face! Great, I found the perfect card. Time for the next errand. When friends do nice things, with these it's tapes? important to thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? I want to get my friend a special oh! treat. Where Yo! can I buy a treat for my friend? Wooly, you, you just gonna take that. Amanda basically just communicated you are not her friend. Wooly start talking, she was like, gave him the stinkest face. All right, what about post office? Wow, your friends must love your treats <laughs> from the post office. <sighs> hey, Amanda, I'm not Wooly, all right? You ain't about to be handing me that sarcasm and think I ain't about to clap back. I cut them pigtails off and have you looking like Michael Jordan. Matter of fact, I'm gonna pick it again. I hope all the treats are stale by the time we get there. Can you show me where to go? Oh, she gonna close the, bro. I don't like this game. Good job. Let's go get that tree. What? What's wrong with our face? Mmm. Everything smells so good. I want to buy my friend some. What buy my the friend freak? some cookies. Can you show me where the cookies are? I'm hearing. I'm hearing steps behind me. All right. Uh, this one. I don't think my friend will like that. What? Why are you twitching? 
What's the, what about this one? I can't mail that to my friend. Ooh, look at Wooly over there like, please, please stop antagonizing her. Or what, Wooly? I want the cookies! I'm not vibing with you at all, Amanda. Those look so tasty! We just have one more stop in the neighborhood! The package is ready for my friend! They live pretty far from me, so we need to mail it! Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's Wally, time to go to the post stop office. Stop talking, bro. Let's send this package to my friend. Their name is... Wait, I don't remember. Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. You don't have to send that now. Wally. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? Why is it four letters? And why does my name have four letters? No, that's not my Ugh. friend's name. Ugh. Bro, I don't know your friend name. Your friend name, Mark? You have to know their name. All right, I'm getting scared. I, I really don't know what I'm supposed to type. It's a four letter, uh, Kate? Great work. Now we can send this to my friend. I hope she likes the cookies. It was really Kate? I don't know what the freak is going on. Where did that other tape go? What the freak? <gasps> oh my! I I forgot that there was an Aunt Kate. That is crazy. I forgot. I just thought of a, a four letter chick's name and I wrote Kate. Yo, the brain is the brain is wild how it did that. I totally forgot about Aunt Kate. <gasps> what do you gotta do? What do I type in? Who? This is the most haunted piano. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and lost the spider out. I came the sun and dried up all the rain. <laughs> I don't I for real don't know what I type in. Let's look at those um let's look at these letters over here. Certificate is to Kate for dedication in the field of children's library services. When did it change? Building is still there. Too risky to investigate. School records, behavioral complaints, disappearances. He used to watch that show, you know. It was really sweet at first. I remember that you used to even tell families with younger kids to watch it. It was wholesome. Then it got weird. I'd find Jordan standing in front of the TV like he was in a trance. And it was like that little girl was talking to him. She said some really weird stuff. I know most of the people around here don't believe in the kind of work you do, not the library, the other kind of work. Huh? They just don't want to face the truth that something really evil was here. Can we t meet and talk? I feel like someone's watching me, Joanne. Oh, oh, these two letters were together. Two years ago, my little brother Jordan disappeared, just poof, gone. My parents were never the same, and now they're gone too. The police figured someone snatched Jordan off the street, that some crazy guy lured him away, a freak occurrence. But you know what? A regular old suburban tragedy. Oh, heck, nah. Oh, this gotta be Kate. Can it be Kate? Nah. What do we got to work with right now? What do we have to work with? I don't know how I'm getting through this. <laughs> that was also so lucky. Are these stickers on the TV? Okay. 
Oh no, accidents. Oh, it's you. Whatever you do, don't. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Willie had an accident. An accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. Anybody's huh? What did you do to Willie? Your house, at school, at the playground. You can get hurt almost everywhere. Whoa. At 345 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. I I didn't trip. Where on Wooly does it look like he Wooly. got hurt? Wooly. I need you to blink if Amanda did something to you. Alright? Just go ahead and blink. I'm about to write kill. That part of Wooly looks fine. What? Head. Hurry up! He's hurt! Uh, neck. That's right. I didn't really take hurt that. His knee. I didn't it can take that. Help when you are hurting. I d oh yo. I I literally typed in neck. I'm looking at the things and I'm like, I'm, my fingers are still typing and I'm like, wait, how is this saying me? Oh, that was crazy. Um, I don't even know what she said. I don't know even what she just asked me. Hello? I don't think they can help. Oh, who can help police? Don't you want to help, Wooly? Yeah, that's why I'm calling the police on you. Why are you even here? Try again. You're almost there. I'm wasting my time, and I'm running out of patience. I never played a game like this. I want to type in police again. I want to see. I don't know why. Am I a masochist? Do I want to be killed in this game? I just want to keep on making her mad. I want to see. I mean, she skinned old Wooly's knee just because he was about to be like, I'm warning you. I'm all right, police again. I'm not typing this. I'm not typing that. I wrote police. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? Oh, look at the time. So they said 345. Then we got 620 here. Why did they randomly put this clock here? It's important. Um, I just want to keep making her mad. I don't think that doctor can help Wooly. Wooly's in a lot of pain. Why don't you let Wooly speak? Why do you always have to speak for him? Please help me get to the right doctor. Okay, all right, all right, Wooly, all right. Come on, let's get Wooly fixed up. Amanda, this really hurts. When is the doctor going to- The doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how we can help Wooly. Another time. Which tool can we use to check Wooly's injury? The heart monitor? The x-ray machine or at the scale? Uh, probably the x-ray machine. That's right! Now we can look at Wooly's bones. It ends there? Follow us to fun. Uh, I'm scared to turn around. Okay. Oh, what's this? TikTok catching up with sick. I I wanted to read that. Um, now I can't. Oh, here we go. All right, all right. Let's go to the light. Catching up with Sam. Sam Colton wasn't expecting to be a father to a town icon, but last summer it became clear that his public access series. Amanda the Adventurer and its title character were something very special. And so Sam is the father of Amanda. For this self-professed struggling writer, it all started with his adopted daughter and a new outlook on life. Recently, I caught up with Sam over a stack of the Sunflower Diner's story banana pancakes. We chatted about the value of imagination, everyday adventures, and what the future may have in store for Amanda. Lacey. Sam, not a day goes by when my kiddos aren't talking about Amanda and her adventures. Did you even dream that this little show would be a big hit? 
Sam, little show is right, isn't it? But I think there's something elegant in simplicity. We may not have the budget for a big production, but I truly believe there's a soul that transcends that. I'm humbled by the way the town has embraced my something. Why is this part cut out? What's on the back of this? Celtic relics stolen. So while we were doing those other tapes, there were a bunch of times when there was a time. Tick tock, tick tock. And then we got a key here. The frick is this for? Oh, there's a chest. There's a chest back here. Thank you. There's a chest. For real? Yeah, let's just throw the key at the lock. And it's 345. This is when um, Wooly got hurt. It was 345. <gasps> Is this clock wrong too? <gasps> okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Get back, get back, get back. So, the next time it was 6:20. Something happens when I do that. Oh! Okay. Wait, what's this? Can I grab this? What? So the other time was 2250, which is 1050. Nope. <gasps> Maybe I had to do this one. It was it was uh, 10 p.m. 1050. And there's a clock here too. Let's just let's do 345 on this one. What? Why did it go to 515? <gasps> why did why did they all go to 515? AM. Safe, 826. Bro, I'm on my Sherlock Holmes right now. 826. Oh, we definitely about to figure out what's in this safe. There's a picture of the safe. The safe's gone. So they took the safe out of the room. And now there's a picture of the safe. So you're just expected to remember the code until the safe is back in the room. And it's like, dude, what if I wasn't paying attention? Oh, well, I guess I could put the old tape back in and then you could just keep watching it back. If if you didn't, if you missed a clue, then you're just gonna be stuck until, until you put it together. Everything rots. All right, let's see. Let's see everything rots. And I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. It's such a nice day for a picnic. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? Oh, I don't like I didn't that say at anything. all. Uh, Amanda, what's that smell? I've never smelled anything like that. Hmm, I don't know, Wolf. See? You're right! It's a bad smell. What do you think is making that bad smell? You! No, that looks fine. Dang. Are you doing this on purpose? What is making that bad smell? What the frick is that? Well, I, would, I would keep clicking on you forever. I hate you, Amanda. I hate you. E you, you're right. This sandwich is sticky uh. because it's rotting. This tree stump is rotting too. Do you know why? Things rot when they are not alive anymore. Uh -huh. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Uh, why you gotta make me type in dead? 
This is a children's game? I'm so a kid's supposed to be like, oh yeah, yeah, dead. That's right. The tree stump is dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! Men can die if they don't get enough light or water. Or if they get a disease. Are you in the hallway? Let's go back to our nice picnic. Animals can die in different ways, too. Look at poor Mr. Fox. He is dead and rotting. What do you think killed him? You! The gun, the knife, or the poisonous Wait! berries on Why the Why is there a gun here? <laughs> Yo! You could maybe get away with a knife at a picnic. Like, oh yeah, I brought it to cut sandwiches. What the freak is that 9mm doing here? You killed him, Amanda! You! <laughs> I think that was it. I, yeah, why didn't you let me click on you? No, it wasn't yeah, that. Yeah, it was. Look at his funny tug. He's silly. Funny? What killed him? You. I'm clicking on you. Wouldn't it be nice if he could tell us? It sure would be. Mr. Fox, what made you die? You. It was the ugly old bear trap. Yeah. Mr. Fox didn't even know what got him until it was too late. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. We saw so many things today. Every time we try to speak up. A a rotting tree stump, and silly old rotting Mr. Fox. Sometimes I feel myself rotting. What the? But it feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. No! Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. <gasps> I mean, Wooly said I don't have to. What's gonna happen? Need to go on Steve Wilkos or I don't know, something. Y'all got some stuff that needs to be worked out. Wooly literally gets beat on behind stage nobody know where amanda parents is at dead animals is showing up like something is wrong so, and y'all just gonna keep running the show huh oh it's because y'all making that money yeah i get it why won't you answer my question you have to tell me, tell me. No. don't you want to be my friend please answer my question Oh, you gonna give me three letters for yes, huh? No. It's making me do it. Guys, look, look, look. Look at the screen. Y-E, right? My finger is on O. <laughs> Let's see what pops up. I think it might nah. be too late. Nah. What was that? Why did it make me turn around? <laughs> Is that because I, I kept <laughs> being in... Is that because I kept... Wait, what's this? Is that a bad ending because I kept <laughs> choosing the wrong options on purpose? What if I click continue? What happens? Where are we at in the game now? It made me go back to continue, so I think that was the end of the game. What's this tape? In the kitchen. That's the first tape, right? Okay. So we know that the safe is A26. Open up! I know I got the right code. <gasps> What's this? That's a pause button. Okay. Red. <gasps> oh, shoot. Okay. Now, hold up. Let me put it right there. Take a picture of this. Red, orange, blue, beige, potato, lilac, yellow, purple. Was that kale? 
What's on the back of this? Nothing. We got a pause button. Where can we put a pause button at? Right here? Oh, <gasps> yeah. The, the, the pause button's missing. <gasps> so what now? We got a pause button. Then we got, where can we input colors? All right, guys, I think I might be stuck. And then we got flower pots. We got flower pots with these freaking Pokemon symbols. And then we got this thing, which still don't know. I think I'm gonna have you guys help me out. I like this. Y'all wanna see Amanda the Adventurer part two. I think we got the first ending. You just get body for getting so many wrong. Give me some ideas down in the comments. What do you think I should do? We got a pause button and we got some colors here. So leave everything down in the comments. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you be sure to sisters and samurai, slice that like button. Subscribe today to join the samurai. And until next time, my brothers and sisters. There's the birthday girl. Usually my mom holds my treat money. Yo! What? Come on, Lauren. We don't have much time. Do you trust me? <laughs> I tricked you! We're going to use all three! Amanda, wait! <laughs> Amanda, wait! Listen. Some WD-40 on that. Ugh. When I tell you I've been thinking about this game since I recorded it last night, I've been reading y'all comments. I'm so stupid. We gonna get to that. I'm just saying it's been a long time since I'm like, yo, I need to see what's about to happen. What's up to Scroll Cory Kitchen and welcome back to Amanda the Explorer. The Adventurer. This this freaking game. <laughs> Let me get back in. Let me get back in. If you didn't see the first episode of this, you are in the wrong place. Go watch that first, then come back to this one, Playboy. But for those who need a refresher, first episode, we got the bad ending. The story so far seems to be that we inherited these tapes from our Aunt Kate. Now, Kate, we don't know what she did. Because on the surface, we always thought that Aunt Kate was a librarian. Turns out, nah, she been like doing some investigating on this kid's television show, which doesn't make sense because how is this a like TV show? But I have to like type in stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes she'll ask, Do you know what we can use to cut the apples? How is a kid gonna type something in on a VHS? Whatever. Needless to say, we need to figure out what's going on. We got one bad ending. And then I went to the comments. I had the piece of paper in my hand. I didn't realize this went to that. This looks so long. And y'all said it was something on the back of this robot. Caution, do not get blab out wet. That's why it wasn't working. We need some double A's. And we also unlocked this pause button. So let me get that piece of paper. We open this up, right? We get this paper, it goes here. Guys, forgive me. Ah, ah. Okay, okay, what does this mean? So I know this has something to do with the plants. Like we got the H here. The H means purple. What is, okay, hold up, time out, time out, time out. <gasps> Yeah, we did find this one. Wait, which one is this? This one was uh, pink. So pink grew a little bit. We need to put this in the water. <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh my goodness. How is, what kind of mutant water is this that this is growing this fast? Okay, so we just grew a whole plant. Uh, okay, let's say we grow all the plants. Like, what do we do with that? We're gonna come back to this. We know how to grow the plants now. What the freak? We can do something with the mushroom too? I don't know what to do with this. So let me go to the comments. All right, first comment comes from Jenna OMG. If you put the peach in the microwave, you get a secret tape. We did find a peach here. Let's try and see what this pause button is about. I just saw a rat on the floor. How do we even pause? You can pause. You could just straight up pause. Okay. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I we could fast forward. Apple pie. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Fast forward. Good job. Pause, pause, pause. Oh, first of all, this is creepy looking. Oh, 
But it says to pause. What are we pausing something with the oven for? <gasps> Why did the TV move? What the freak? This game is messing with me. What just happened in that tape? Why is there cheese here? Meat pie? What the freak is happening? Let's just follow what it says. 200 grams potato, 200 grams mushroom, 350 grams of meat. All right, first of all, we got mushroom. Put that in there. Where are we getting meat from? <gasps> the rat. The rat! Oh my god. Oh my goodness. The rat. I knew I saw a rat. Oh! Oh my goodness! No. Where are we getting a potato from? What are we getting potato? <gasps> the moon plant. We could get a potato. We could get a potato with the moon plant. I love games like this. I mean, obviously this is nothing too complicated, but like you just get that satisfaction, that fulfillment from figuring things out. Oh, okay. Maybe I just put the whole pot in there. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Oh, <laughs> yo, y'all trying to get you some meat pie? What do you mean by that? Put it in there. Oh! We got a new tape. Yo. Let's go. Let's go. Hi there. I'm Amanda. And I'm Lily. It's a Amanda, new story. Maybe some of our friends can come back to the neighborhood? That's great! What? I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Uh -huh. Do you know where the store is? The vibe is already off. I don't need to go there right now. What about this one? Do you think this is funny? What? Amanda, you trying to start already? I told you yesterday, I'm not wooly. Good job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card! My friend... Something... Bad happened. What?! What kind of card should I send them? Uh... But this one. That's not the right card. Like, I want to make her mad, but I don't. I don't think we want this. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> hmm... Shh, here's a secret. It's my birthday. Maybe we can help her out. What is happening right now? What What if I click this? Go ahead and pick a card, friend. Are you sure that's right? I don't... It looks like it. I bet your friend is really going to love this card. My friend is... My friend... My friend is having a birthday! I want to get my friend a special treat. Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Oh, I know. Let's get them some nice candy. Do you know uh, where the candy store is? The candy store wasn't here yesterday, or am I tripping? Also, can we get some clarification on this? They don't have anything we need. Look at the stores. Which one sells candy? I don't want to go to the candy store. What's in this store? <sighs> Does this help? <laughs> she is so tired of me, bro. <laughs> she really is. Great! What? Why did you do that? What? Now I can't find the candy store. I don't know where to go. Can you help me? Oh. Uh, all right. Now I kind of like really want to help her. This one was the candy store. Don't do that. I. My bad. It was this one. I don't want to go there. Where do you want to go? I said I don't want to go in there. Listen. 
I should have just took my butt to bed. No! Why is this happening? Amanda, just tell us what's the problem. No! Why can't I stop this? Wooly just standing next this to This isn't the candy store. There is nothing here that I want. Maybe you can take us someplace else? I want to get my friend a special treat. Alright, well, I mean... You could get him a meat sandwich. Let me out of here! Wow, oh, Amanda. That's... That's a nice birthday card. Do you want to give it to your friend now? Will you address the card? Who should I send this to? <laughs> Wooly. Oh, Wooly. It's your birthday! Uh... What's that? What is this? What is this? What? We tried to... We went... You took me. Uh... What? Uh... Huh? Uh... Eh? Where... We tried to... We went. So... There's four factorial possible combinations here. What the freak? What the freak? Oh, 24 candy meat. Oh, 24 candy meat. Guts! You gotta cut the head off the doll. Bro, we about to turn around. This doll is about to kill us! What does this mean? Ah! Where's the doll? Where's the doll? Where's the doll? Guts, 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 guts! Guts! That's what we gotta type in. Shout out, Berserk. Yeah, you. <gasps> oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Just don't jump scare me. <gasps> we got some scissors. We got some scissors and another tape. Okay, everybody be cool, everybody be chill. The doll is missing. And honestly, I don't want to be watching the tape while the doll is walking around. If anything, the scissors going to be in front of me. Hold on real quick. If we get this one... If we get the peach, open that up. <gasps> Hold on! Hold on! Where's the birthday girl? Usually my mom holds my treat money. No! What? Come on, Lauren, we have a special surprise for you. Okay. Here's what I have. Who's ready for ice cream and cake? She's busy with her best friend. Is that show on 24-7? It's like she didn't even hear me. And we need to talk about some new TV rules. <laughs> this is crazy. You know what, hold on. Let me try. I, I want to I capture the big surprise on video. <laughs> Lauren, honey, we got cake and ice cream. We got your favorite, mint chocolate chip. Come on, baby. We can watch Amanda another time. It's oh. so much fun Lauren? to buy your own. Oh. Okay. Oh. Lauren? Mmm, I love mint chocolate chip. Yo, my eyes are watering for real, dude. This is so well done. This harkens back to what these letters were about, which were kids were disappearing. This letter wasn't even about Lauren, but kids watch the show and then they just poof, they're gone. Oh my goodness. What's a family? Oh boy. Put that one in. Hi friends, 
I'm Amanda. Hey. And I'm Wooly. Ba. Hey. Wooly just made an animal sound. He said ba because he is a sheep. Right. Can you make a sound like a sheep? Ba. That's great. You sound just like Wooly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. You sound just like me. Whoa, 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 whoa! Pause it! Severe thunderstorm warning. Effective until 9 o'clock EST. It's recommended to stop you check your environment for any what? First of all, what is this? What is this? <gasps> this is the thing that was over here all this time in this box. Check your environment for any potential hazards during the- At a petting zoo! There are lots of animals here to pet and play with. It's fun to spend time there? with animals. They are very different from people. Yeah. They look different and they don't talk like people. Right. Amanda, I'm an animal and I- Animals don't <laughs> talk, silly. Look at Yo. these signs. Let's make sounds like the animals on the signs. Are you ready? A goat says, meh. Meh. A chicken says, <laughs> A pig says, Link. Why did I pause it? Why did I pause on that? Watch out for any hazards during the thunderstorm. Am I about to get like shocked or something? Because there's water on the floor? I don't know. I'm confused. Uh, what are you doing? It, it automatically goes to that. Okay, well, let's just get through this. Stop pausing it. <laughs> Animals make funny sounds. Uh huh. Do you have a family? Animals have yeah. families too. Let's go see one of the animal family. I want to see the chickens. Can you show me where the chickens are? Uh, the chickens. They're this way. Great! Let's go see those silly chickens. What a cute fib. <laughs> Having a family uh, is nice. You alright, Wooly? I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens. Uh -huh. And I see. I see a daddy chicken. Look at the chickens. Do you know what the daddy is called? <laughs> to me. Now, obviously, it's a rooster, but I don't want to get it right. And I don't know how to spell, obviously. No, that's not what they're called. Try. Tornado! Tornado! And Kinsdale, that's where I'm at until recommended stop and check your environment for potential hazards. Okay. Again. So what what's happening? I'm gonna get it wrong again. Do I have to help you with everything? Do you? Do you? She took over my keyboard again. The daddy is called a rooster. The mommy is a hen, and the babies are chicks. Right, 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 right. Some mommies eat their babies. Oh. Uh, yum, yum. No. Okay, let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? What if we click the wrong thing? We got snakes, spiders. Ew, I don't want to see those. They're scary. I don't want to go near Flood warning. Kissdale. Oh, you know what? Maybe I was supposed to be paying attention to those times. I surely wasn't. The sheep are waiting for us. Where are they? Okay, let's go! Look at Wooly! Look at the nice sheep family. Oh no. All the sheep are right where they belong. Oh, no. <laughs> blizzard blizzard warning? I'm sure you're supposed to change the time in the room or something. Don't move around your environment at all. Hi little kitten. Where is your family? Bro. Amanda, Ooh, relax. Like Don't kill the kitten. All by herself. How do you think she feels? Sad. She must be so scared. Yeah, and sad. There's nobody to love her. 
I know. That's so sad. <gasps> <laughs> Do y'all think I typed that or do y'all think she typed it? This kitten is alone. There is no one to help her. Will you help the lonely kitten? What is go What is this back here? What is this? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna help the kitten. <laughs> What's happening? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Bro, we didn't get anything from that. <gasps> Do not get wet. There's water here. How can we get? We need to capture some water. Kitten. Won't you help the lonely kitten? Won't you help the lonely kitten? Won't you help the lonely kitten? Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. Oh, it didn't come from the chest. It came from downstairs. So all that work for that ending. And it didn't go anywhere. We lost the scissors. Oh, no, 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 no. We still know the codes to things. So I can still. All right. Hey, little doll. <laughs> Come here. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that to make that noise. I'm sorry. What have I done? What have I done? Did y'all hear the scream? <coughs> Let me play it again for you. <coughs> you heard that? Let me play it again for you. <laughs> Alright, what is this? Oh, we got batteries. Oh, shoot. Hello, I am Blackboard. I think this is going to be fun. What? Yo, who is this toy for? I don't have any numbers to punch in. Let's go to the store. All right. Let's so, take out a. Let's pause this. Some people in the comments did talk about this. One five zero three two five. Now, when I saw that when I was playing the other day, you know, I took a mental note of it. Like, wow, that costs a lot of money. This is a password for this. For this. One five zero three two five. Five zero three two five. Who did they get to record voice dialogue for this? Hannibal Lecter? Seven five and all and says to Kate. I don't want to play anymore right now. Dang. <gasps> Congratulations, you're one year older, wishing you the bestest year yet. 0882. Say less. 0882. Oh, right here, right here. Zero. Wait. 0882, right? No! Or maybe it's 81. No! Yeah, because there's a candle in the middle and there's a candle at the bottom. So they was on some. They're trying to confuse us. Blambot's on there. <gasps> 0882. Maybe we type that in there. 0882. I don't think that I want to do that. What you mean? 0882. 
does not compute. The first line of dialogue had me thinking he was about to like. Zero A A two. I'm clearly reading this wrong. Maybe we can't pick it up to move it anywhere. It is all just a numbers game, and you are losing. Hmm. I can tell that you are crying. Hmm. <gasps> That's six numbers. That's six numbers. <gasps> six numbers. Zero, eight, one, eight, two, one, three hundred and twenty five Fahrenheit at thirty minutes. Three twenty five at thirty minutes. Three twenty five at thirty minutes. 325 at 30 minutes. 325 at 30 minutes. Hold up, hold up, we got another candle. <gasps> Ooh, math, I like math. What's this? May your life be filled with many blessings. First of all, we got one candle times four. Obviously, we can't really do nothing with that. We did get one candle though which we can put inside of that cake. Oh, now we can't remove it. So if we just treated the candle as a one, one times four would be four. Five. Five minus one would be four. Five. Five. One times one plus one would be two. Two. One divided by one is one. One. One plus one plus one is three. Three. And one minus one is zero. Zero. What's in the card is on the cake. What's in the card is on the cake. What's in the card is on the cake. What's in the card is on the cake? Eight. Three. When I tell you, there is nothing more fulfilling than figuring out a puzzle without looking it up. What's in the card is on the cake. How about for every candle, we substitute two. For every candle on the card, since there are two candles on the cake, we substitute it for two. So instead of one times four, two times four. Every time we see a candle, it's two. And it worked. Take a picture, it is. First of all, that was extremely scary. Second of all, D C F E. Please, I don't want to do no more puzzles, bro. Uh, ah! Ah! To you. <laughs> I had no business screaming like that. My vocal cords, I just ripped them up. I literally just ripped them up. And I tell you what it did. I tell you what it was. It was the proximity of the left ear. You could see me screaming and turning because I'm thinking it's somebody in this room with me. Well played, game devs. Well played. Oh no, accidents. We don't have much time. Do you trust me? Do I trust you? That's an odd thing to say, Wooly. That's a very odd thing to say. It, it instantaneously made me 
untrust you. But you know what? Sure. Lily! Ready for an adventure? Amanda! No, you can't. Oh. Lily had an accident! What, what? When a friend has an accident, sometimes nobody can help them. But we can try! Wooly! No, Amanda! I I'm fine! I, I just, uh... Poor Wooly is so confused. We really have to help him. First, we have to know what is wrong. What part of Wooly is broken? Uh, I, so we got body and head. I don't know, body. Isn't Wooly acting strange? What could be wrong? Feet. Don't you care about Wooly? He needs our help. Head. Lily's head is broken, but Dr. Amanda is here to help. Oh no. Let's prepare the patient. Oh no. Here, Willie, drink this. Uh, I don't know, Amanda. It's all just pretend. Pour it out, dude! Isn't it, Willie? Amanda, I feel, uh... We need to operate immediately on the patient's brain. What tool should we use to fix Wooly's head? The saw, the hammer, or the forceps? <laughs> no, I don't know what a tool it is, bro. Amanda, why are you making me do this? I don't want to do this, Amanda. Why? Why, Amanda? I don't. I, I, Amanda, listen, please, listen. Wooly is fine. We don't need any of these. That might be helpful, but what else could we use? This. Things could get really messy if we use that. This? That looks hard to use, but I could try. This? <laughs> I tricked you! We're going to use all three! Amanda, wait! <laughs> Amanda, wait! <laughs> the patient is getting rowdy! Oh, me! A little help here. Help me! Please! Stop! Who are you going to help? I'm obviously... Wooly! You're not going to help me? No. Boy, I can do this by myself. No way! Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. What is this? Riley's favorite movies? We are so dead. I'm Wooly. Oh, what? <gasps> Hi, I'm Wooly Trapdoor Treat. Oh, there was something in there. There was something in there. I'm. You know, it's crazy when every time I finish a tape, I'm like zipping, dude. I'm zipping behind me. The last game that like really creeped me out like this was Duck Season. Do y'all remember? Oh my god! This is on that level of like paranoia. Hi! Tra door. Trap door. <gasps> Summer 1989. Let's just see what kind of treat they got. I'm allergic to apples. How many chair? How many mushrooms? How many fruit? How many plate? How many chairs? How many mushrooms? How many chairs? Dang, it's a lot of chairs in here, ain't it? How many lights and how many fruit? So how many, how many, what was the first one? How many chairs was first, right? There's one chair. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mushrooms. There's one light, two lights, one, two, three, four, five, six fruit, right? I'm allergic to apple. How many chair? How many mushrooms? Chair mushrooms. How many fruit? How many plates? Also, it said Wooly's allergic to apples for some reason. So do we not count that? I know it's gotta go here. How many chairs? It was one. There was eight mushrooms. There was 
six fruits, lights, plus two. Right? Is there more than one chair? <gasps> there is. That's a chair right there. It just, it just goes on forever and ever. So, this obviously, we could get this, uh, we could get the robot away with that. What is this tape? What is this called? Home movies. Four, oh, one, two, five, eight. Four, one, two, five, eight. I mean, let's just type that in instantly. Four, zero, one, zero, eight. The treasure is in the chest. Obviously. But first, you need the key to my heart. Because it is not what you have on the outside that matters. It is what you keep on the inside that really counts. Okay. Uh, before I electrocute you with this water, let me see what the rest of this says. We don't have much time. We don't have much time. Okay. I'm sorry, you buddy. You are not that kind of person. You're not that kind of person. I thought that I could trust you. Listen, I'm not gonna do it. What do you want me to do? What can we do besides that? The fact that this dude started talking as I approached him with the water. Do you need more proof that this is sentient or not? Wait, let's talk about this. Talk! You do not have to do this. I know. So what's the what's the key to your there heart? Has to be a better way. I agree. I thought that I knew you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Aren't you my friend? Sure. I thought we were best friends. Uh, I don't know why you thought that. You are not that kind of person. I'm, I'm not, but... Please. Please, do not hurt me. Oh my... Please, have mercy on me. Oh my goodness. No, wait. I will show you number combinations you've never even dreamt of. Okay, do it. I will do anything, please. Okay. Give me another chance. Okay, I am. I am begging you. Okay. I love you. Oh. There, I said it. I am in love with you. They really trying to make you feel bad for doing this. Let it be on record. I didn't want to do it. You are not that kind of person. You're wrong. We were going to have such a beautiful life together. Please do not forget me. Sorry, Ben. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. He was under his head the whole time. I'm about to freaking die too. I deserve it. Chaos. Chaos. Heartbreak. All because of Aunt Kate. Why did you give me this tape, Kate? Why? We can share. Look how look how look how much work we've been putting in, dude. It's freaking five tapes down here. About to be six. Please play something. Hi! I'm Amanda, when you're friends, you can share all kinds of things with each other. I can share my crayons with you, so you can have fun coloring too. Look at silly Mr. Fox. What? Why would Sharing you draw that? Sharing shows you care about someone. Friends can share toys. They can share snacks. I'll share some of my snacks with you. Which snack would you like? What kind of snacks are these? Do y'all see any snacks here? 
Or do you just see rancid meat? Yum, that's my favorite. Friends can share other things too. They can share secrets. Really? Can I share a secret with you? Oh boy. Oh boy. You know what, Amanda? I really don't want any secrets. Oh. From I thought you were different. Leave. Isn't that where Amanda comes out from? Like the monster Amanda? Whoa, whoa. This is unlike anything that's happened so far. Was the secret they really rolled the credits on us we got another ending i should have been taking notes because i can't remember all the stuff that we did why is this tape here oh this is like secret tapes go here or something and we all the way at the beginning bro i can't remember this Yum, that's my favorite. Okay. Are you sure? It's a big secret. Uh, I'm sure. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? Amanda, yeah, it is. I'm out there. Somewhere. Oh my goodness! They gave us yet another choice at the end. I didn't have to throw the brick. We can talk about what she said after I get back to that and not throw the brick. I'm out there somewhere. She said. All right, we're gonna do it. They they kind of press you into throwing it. I don't have to throw it. Oh, it just repeats. Okay, so you do have to do it. Bro, if I seen this in real life, I'm front flipping out of that freaking window, bro. She's out there somewhere. Amanda is out there somewhere. That can't be the true ending. Look, listen to how sad this is. We didn't solve anything. We're gonna end this one here, guys. Um, For everything in the room, this this except for this we figured out everything in this room we still got five spaces for tapes here the only things we haven't figured out what happened to kate what happened to amanda and what what are we supposed to do for this tornado blizzard thing wow what an episode what a game we really put on our detective shades on this one Everybody clap that up. You know, I 
could have did this without you guys you know as emotional support but we still not done yet y'all go down in the comments what did we miss what did you see in this episode that you that's giving you some idea of what we could possibly even do next because the only thing that i can think to do next this is the the actual real life tape is go through the tapes in order again and look for clues i'm gonna get out of here if y'all ready for the next episode of amanda the adventurer you already know what to do be sure to sisters and samurai slice that like button subscribe today to join a samurai and until next time my brothers and sisters what the frick maybe hamlin put in wooly to like redirect her attention from what's really going on <clears throat> hello hello how we doing how we doing oh brother although i must say ever since i started using this microphone it is a little bit harder mixing like i'm constantly as i'm editing like tweaking up tweaking down tweaking up tweaking down but anyway who cares about that y'all know what we here for today hey 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 And yes, I know it's Sunday. Listen, is Spooky Scary Sunday like what I'm known for now? Let's make no mistake. Spooky Scary Sunday is a subsidiary of Corey Kenshin, okay? This is that that Spooky Scary Sunday. Five Nights at Freddy's. All, all those, they're under the Corey Kenshin umbrella. <sighs> for the last time. What's up, Tubes? going on, Corey Kenshin? And welcome to Amanda the Adventurer. I plan to finish this game up. We already got the three main endings. Jobs in the comments. Y'all let me know about some extra stuff. Plus, I already knew what time it was because we got one orange tape and there's five more slots for tapes. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then obviously you didn't watch part two. So <laughs> bop, bing, boom, bam, bop. So the plan of today is to finish this game out once and for all. And Spooky Scary Sunday, I've got you guys this week. It won't be on Sunday, but it, it does need to return it's been it's been like four months so damn that's my bad um <clears throat> let's start with the first comment from benkit after the meat pie in 24 7 it has a sign that says sheet music the notes are f-a-c-a-d-e facade huh like this entire game has been a c a d -E. no all right we'll come back to that one Corey, you need to take the flower pot with the 21 on it then grow it and give it to the doll how do y'all suckers be finding this out like what who would who would even think to do that well y'all of course 21 on it this one ah uh, well let's grow that and give it to the doll and see what happens uh, i just grew in my hand hey oh she does have a flower in her hair thank you that's my favorite flower I got a surprise for you, but you'll have to turn around. No. Oh, heck no. Nah. You just said that in a very creepy way. Uh, hello? Peekaboo. Oh, this? No, wait. <gasps> what? Wait, is that Amanda? Who are these people? 248, pay attention to the details. Something's about to happen. Oh. What is she signing over? Doesn't she need like some, you know, parental, um... No, they just finessed her. They just finessed her. I don't know what she just signed. She needed parental consent to do whatever she just did. What? They had a whole security dude outside the... Listen, do y'all know what's going on? Because I don't. 
the fact that they got a guard outside this room bad business oh come on that that wasn't helpful doll well okay maybe it is and i just don't know it yet i mean the way last episode ended we we still don't really know anything we don't know what happened to aunt kate we don't know why she even gave us these tapes to begin with all we did find out was i'm out there somewhere so amanda's out there somewhere so we got another comment from scar that says hey yo Corey, here's an ending you miss and how to get to it during what's the family tape you're supposed to use the little weather toy every time you get a weather warning i'm gonna get to that tape i'll see y'all in a second here's another thing i read in the comments yesterday do y'all remember when um do you know what the daddy is called <laughs> amanda says something like what's the daddy called and then you know I wrote my name but y'all said if you write sam her actual dad's name something else would happen so once we get to that tape i'm gonna write i'm gonna try that too let's see what's going on with this hi friends i'm amanda and i'm wooly wooly just made an animal sound right. he said ba because he is a sheep can you make a sound like a sheep no oh pause it pause pause it pause so this was the tape right right the thunderstorm goes oh okay okay so we gotta we gotta get the tornado one fun to spend time with animals they look different and they, they don't talk like people amanda I'm an animal, and I can- Animals don't talk, <laughs> silly. Look at these signs. Why does she violate him like this? Sound. Don't you know what a chicken looks like? I want to go look at the chickens. Oh! We never saw that one before. Great! Let's go see those silly chickens. All right. What a cute fib. Having a family is Why nice. did he do that? Like I see a mommy chicken and baby chicken uh -huh. and i see i see a daddy daddy chicken, chicken. look at the chickens all right y'all ready do you know what the daddy is called her dad is called sam wait what did you say oh how do you oh where should we go next i think it's time to visit the sheep what <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep Okay, I just got a achievement called Daddy Issues. And second off, what the freak is going on with this barn? Like, are you good? Like, is it just me or the eyes are red? He breathing kind of crazily. I don't know what the Daddy Issues thing unlocked, but nothing happened. Okay, let's go. He, Look he at really the nice there. sheep family. All the sheep are right where they belong. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, pause it, pause it. Blizzard warning. Oh. <gasps> what the freak? You know what? I think I missed, I missed the tornado one because I think some of them only trigger if you get the answer wrong. In either case, we're gonna have to redo this tape anyway. I wanna watch this red tape. What's this? It's been three weeks since local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing, and authorities still have no leads. What? Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. Oh but with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As budget Rebecca. and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. Uh-oh. My kids are still really into that show, <laughs> but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. What? I mean, what is that? Yeah. That's what is not that, Scott? something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. Mm. Okay, Scott. 
it's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. Rebecca. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. Uh -huh. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. Whoa! We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing what are they? events. They're her caretakers? For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Like Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, Bro. authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. What happened to him? We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. Oh, we ate him in a meat pie yesterday. Oh! <laughs> it's me, your friend, hey, Skip. Hey. And with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. Skip and chip. You got too much dip on your chip. Change the channel. If anything, I'm just getting more and more questions. Nothing is getting solved. So the dad disappeared. Actually, there was a few revelations. Her real name's Rebecca Colton. And do y'all see when I listen? Indie horror game of the year. They hired all these real life actors. This song look real, bro. Oh my goodness. So first, we need to redo the tape. I just messed up. What's in the family? No, that's not what they're called. Try. Tornado. Okay, so to get the tornado to pop, you gotta get the first thing wrong. The tornado goes. Okay. All right, the next one. We gotta. You know what's crazy is I made them all pop before. Actually, so I can just rewatch my stuff. Okay, so the flood warning popped when I picked the wrong thing. The daddy is called. And then. Ew! I don't want to see those. They're scary. I don't want to go near. Flood warning. Got it. Hit this one. Then blizzards after this one. I was expecting the flood sound goes no the toy just broke and bot me in the lip move everything rots but wait i thought there was a blizzard one there is a blizzard one. Oh, we i skipped something i skipped the freaking blizzard one okay whatever we'll redo it we'll redo it what's this I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Hey. <laughs> what? What's that smell? What do you think is making that bad smell? Eeeew, you're right. Uh-huh, the sandwich. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? So why do they got me redoing this tape? Dead is the opposite of alive. Uh -huh. Good job. <laughs> When an animal dies, it rots too. It looks like that? this kitten is in big trouble. It might die before anyone can help it. Should we help the kitten? Uh, yeah. Uh, Wooly. Wool. Wool. Oh, I have to click something. This is nightmare fuel, bro. <laughs> what the freak? Yo, am I hanging? Nah, like, <laughs> yo. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, every time we get to the end of a tape, I always want to know what happens if you just say no. The Let's get to the blizzard. <laughs> so, blizzard. You 
even gotta hit you gotta hit this for blizzard no now i want to see what happens if you say no oh you can't say no we really don't have much time oh they made me say yes i'm not typing this so the only thing that happens is yeah this happens regardless this is wild what's your favorite kind of pie oh yeah somebody said if you put like mutton or something <gasps> that sounds delicious today we're going to make an apple pie first we need to cut the apple all right we're back in the tape with the music notes good job let's go to the store yeah, let's, let's pick store. out a card Boom. music notes right there this is where you type in facade This is such a satisfying tune. It's like, good job. You figured out what you need to do. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> this is a weird part, mm. man. Sam. I don't think it's their birthday. The card is for someone really cute. Gosh, I guess you really forgot. Oh. It makes you type it in. Oh, Willie, it's your birthday. All right, well, we did what we came here to do. We got a new color tape. Let's watch it. Sadie Kemper, what? Welcome to Coffee Break. Hey. Today, I'm talking oh, with Sam Colton, the creator of the hit kids show, Amanda the Adventurer. And the I have flesh. to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I am going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. Mm. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. Facts, facts, facts. Sam, last year, you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it was a total surprise. Uh -huh. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. Okay. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh. Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. Mm. And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian. Miss Kate for being oh. such a champion of the project. I think she's my aunt. about it at every single story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Uh -huh. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children hey, we forgot that his name our already? world like... is a magical place. That there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. Uh -huh. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with she's such gone kindness through. and joy. She's the light of my life. And it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see they hate things each other, happening bro. with Amanda this is the so Adventurer? Fake. <laughs> I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. <gasps> it feels like a dream, the idea right. of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. That's incredible. <laughs> Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. Mm. On our next coffee break, we got Corey Kenshin. for all oh, occasions. Yeah. Featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Are you going to? I feel so weird.
Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, <clears throat> I have a hypothesis after hearing that. Because I had forgotten already in the last tape they said Hamlin did the animation, the things, the tapes that we watch, right? Before these tapes, it was an IRL show. So Hamlin, they did something. They did something. That's why they had her signing. That's why it was a security guard outside the, the, um, the room. They put something in these tapes. They did something. Hamlin, the company. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, them suckers. I just found another comment that says in the injury video when it says who can help us we supposed to type nobody i mean i'm sure all you other Amanda the adventure veterans have tried this but let me just see so it doesn't matter what you do wait can you do multiple fruit <gasps> now that just changed the whole game up that just changed the whole game up if you could do multiple fruit I know y'all haven't done all these permutations. And then we got another peach in here too. Wow. Okay, well, let's just get to the tape that I need. That's right. Lily hurt. Right here. You're probably right. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should it? we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? Come on. Okay, so is there another tape? <gasps> there is. There is. Let's get it. What the freak? Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. Bye, yo. Bye, yo. Bye, yo. Pie man. Pie man. What? Pie man. Pie man. What is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? I want this to stop. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Sam, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? We why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? Don't want to do that. Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The man in the headphones. There's no man. She's upset. This is going too far. Let's just take five. Oh, Rebecca, no. come on out and we'll... We got the full story with that one. Well, except for what happened to Kate, but we got the full story. We got why Sam disappeared. Hamlin got rid of him. They got rid of him. They was like, he's in our way. We're trying to do these umbrella experiments. We need to train the system to hear her voice. Are you serious? Hamlin was behind everything. They're behind everything. So now that we got these five tapes, I think we just finished the game how we normally would, but, but something, something different, different happens. happens. Director gonna tell the dad to go take a walk. You go take a walk. Matter of fact, we about to walk out of this project. No, that's probably what he said. Hanlon was like, no, nah, we got to get him up out of here. I don't know how many of these apple pies I've baked, bro. But <laughs> I really don't want to run through this again. Oh, so silly. Sometimes I feel myself rotting. <gasps> it feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. For real? What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. Hamlin, Hamlin killed her. Hamlin killed her. She says, sometimes I can feel myself rotting. And you know what's crazy is, Wooly's always trying to like get her out of that. Maybe Hamlin put in Wooly to like redirect her attention from what's really going on. Yo, that I can feel myself rotting line. That's high key sad, dude. Like what? Hamlin, why? Like they took this, they took this little girl, took her from her dad, destroyed their family. I'm sorry, I'm Flabot. I love you too. Listen, I didn't want to do it. Friends can share other things too. They can share secrets. Right. 
Can I share a secret with you? Amanda, or Rebecca, please share your secret with me. Are you sure? It's a big secret. Yeah, I think I already know what it is. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? Mm -hmm. I'm out there. Somewhere. <laughs> Why did I forget that was what happens next? Can I throw it at anything else? No. You throw the brick. got this ending and nothing else explained after that oh that's whack that's whack and there's another tape why is there another tape slide here ulterior motive of hamlin i don't know indoctrinate kids kidnap kids i don't know because when kids will watch it what ha what will happen they would disappear and then the one tape the orange tape next thing you know the kid's gone and then Amanda's on TV saying she loves mint chocolate chip. I, I still don't know. Like, did she get sucked into the TV? Did Amanda hear that? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just looked it up. Allegedly, there are only five endings, which we got all five. And I'm still sitting here dissatisfied. They brought in a whole person and then just cut it to black. Like, what? What, y'all trying to keep us in suspense for Amanda the Adventurer 2? Like, why is there one more slot here? Maybe it's something else. All right, guys. I want to do this tape again real quick. I don't have much time. Do you trust me? I wonder if you type no. Lily! Ready for an adventure? You can't type anything. Amanda! No, you can't. Lily had an accident. When a friend has an accident, sometimes nobody, nobody can help can them. Help. But Got we it. can share. Why would he do this? Uh, I don't know, Amanda. It's all just pretend, isn't it, Lily? Amanda. Mm, it's all yeah. pretend, isn't it? Yeah, Wooly's kind of sus. I tricked you. We're going to use all three. All right. <laughs> Let's help Amanda this time. Getting rowdy. I'll need a little help here. Help me, please. So, who are you going to help? We're gonna help Amanda this time. Let's get the patience of this to finish the operation. Hey! Oh, everything will be okay. We never did that one. Well, it. it I mean, it played out exactly the same, though. How many mushrooms? <gasps> Bro, there is a freaking part in that tape. How many? Oh, it was right after this. How many? <sighs> How many? <gasps> what the frick is that? What is that? You can't tell me this isn't important. I straight up did a Google search. I had to see if there was another tape here. I don't think there's a sixth tape yet maybe they'll add it or maybe they won't i don't know i haven't seen anybody talk about this i don't know what this is nor would i know where to employ this i think we got all the endings here are my thoughts i got a few different theories um let's lay out the main facts here amanda's real name is rebecca colton she is the adopted daughter of sam colton sam made mention of our aunt kate on his channel on on the show for helping what do you say for helping uh show other people she definitely signed over her life she signed over her her rights they did it without the dad being there on purpose uh which tape was this one it's been three weeks dad disappeared hamlin they got him up out of there i mean i feel like that's pretty obvious even though we don't have proof yet this one Let's talk about this tape for a second. Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. Bye, yeah. Bye, yeah. Hi, man. Bye, man. What do y'all think? What do y'all think that is? What do y'all think 
they had her saying those lines for the director said oh it's because we got to train the voice recognition something something right what is this what is she reading just a few simple words uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice train technology's dynamic voice reaction sounds like a bunch of harkin jargon blah. train the technology blah 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 listen let's take him at face value let's say that's what that was doing because my first theory was hamlin is creating some mind control software some system that takes over the minds of kids but what if it's even more than that what if he was lying when he said oh it's just a technology recognition let's say he was having amanda say something demonic let's say he was having amanda say something incantations you know where where's zach uh uh zach bacon he knows all about that they could have been having her say some some crazy stuff so there's that tape right and then what was this what was this tape again right it's a tv show and boy does your show have a big heart you know i really have to thank our local librarian miss kate for being such a champion of the project i think she's talked about it at every single story time Hmm. Kate was showing the people the IRL version. This is before the animated version came out. So what happened was Hamlin, this faceless mystery company, saw that this show was a big hit, right? They approach the creator of the show. Hey, we want to make like a animated version of your show. And, and obviously he's like, oh yeah, like that's going to make my show more popular and, you know, make more money for my family. Yeah. Why, why not? Meanwhile, Hamlin, which that name probably also even means something, was thinking this is a great opportunity to reach a whole bunch of kids so that we can mind control them or whatever. These are all facts. These are all facts. This is this is not this isn't theory anymore. After they started working together, Sam disappears. All right, we find in tapes of Amanda uh, signing things without her dad being in the room, and then we get amanda in the tape saying i feel myself rotting somewhere sometimes but it's far away for all we know uh, you know i kept asking what happened to kate hamlin probably got kate up out of here too she probably was like i've been telling all these kids about this show and now the kids are disappearing this note this note throws me off energy transfer would see sigils dynakinesis dynakinesis is energy manipulation man i haven't been like this hyped and this invested in the lore of a game i'll tell you the two games where the lore had me like you know beyond my recording of the game i'm like i'm still in my free time sitting here trying to think of of what's happening five nights at freddy's duck season those are the only two other games that like lore wise i'm like yo i need to figure out what's happening this is the third game they did a superb job building this world getting the irl people acting like this 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 is this is fantastic but i think we there's nothing left to be done. I don't know who the person here that, that came into the house. I don't know what that means. So after you do all five tapes, someone breaks in after Amanda tells you her secret. Who is that? Who who do y'all think it could be down in the comments? It could be Kate. It could be Sam. We don't have confirmed bodies on anybody. We know it was, a, it was an adult, so it wasn't Rebecca. It could be somebody that works for Hamlin. It could be, I don't know. That's the finale of Amanda the Adventurer. Um, they're most definitely going to make a sequel. I mean, I'm sure the sales got to be going crazy. I know the game's going really crazy on YouTube, but that also doesn't always translate to actual game sales. I would hope so because it's a great game and i'm sure the more people that buy it the more secrets that you know people will find there was that one thing that i think is a secret man it's like i almost don't want to end the video it's like i, I want to keep searching but there's nothing left man all i can say is this company right here we're gonna get to the bottom if they make a sequel for this game i want the sequel to be about taking this company down they probably killed amanda killed sam killed my aunt and then we just gotta end the first game with like no justice but who knows they could update the game it could be dlc for now i'm gonna get up out of here guys thank you so much for joining me on this like i said it's always a pleasure and honor to be able to play games for you guys with you guys i'll see you guys in the next one hopefully you guys enjoyed if they're sure to slice that like button subscribe today to join the samurai 
And until next time, my brothers and sisters. Far away.